How's it going everyone? My name is Spray Chilangelo. For those of you who are visiting my channel for the first time, this channel is all about spray painting. And today I have another landscape slash under the sea spray painting for you guys. After making my Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 spray painting, I really thought it was cool and I, I really fell in love with it. So I decided to make something that was a little bit similar to it, but it, I, it's not a crucifixion spray painting at all. It's just going to be normal landscapes, you know, that type of thing. As I was recording the spray painting, I realized I ran into a few mistakes recording wise, not spray painting wise. I was adding sea creatures to my spray painting and I realized that I didn't capture uh, me painting any of the sea creatures because my GoPro didn't capture it whatsoever and my overhead uh, my head was blocking the overhead camera of me painting in my sea creatures so I am sorry about that but don't worry I'll be making more uh, coral reef slash uh, under the sea uh, spray painting soon that way you guys can get the full idea of how sea creatures are made or how I do them at least but anyways this spray painting turned out so beautifully and I really enjoyed making it uh, I hope you guys like this lesson if you guys do make sure you hit that like button uh, if there's something that you want me to teach you how to make you make sure you leave down in the comments down below what you want me to make and I'll be sure to put your request on the request form the only thing I don't do for the time being are portraits so keep that in mind if you guys want to get notified for every video that I'll be uploading make sure you click the notification bell if you guys want to help support my channel make sure you share this video on any social media platform Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you guys want to sh share it on. And if you guys like these lessons and you want me to make more lessons and you want to help support my channel even further, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let's get the spray painting. Let's get painting, guys. Okay, so first things first is, of course, we're just going to outline our sun. Uh, so there we go. There's that. All right, now it's pretty much the usual. Just grab your neon yellow. Grab your neon orange. Grab your neon pink. Grab your, okay, then grab red pepper. And grab your cranberry. Take a newspaper. Very gently, once again, very, very gently. Actually, wait, before we do that, let's, let's apply some matte white. Very, very gently. Just lightly touch it. Lightly, lightly, lightly touch it. Make sure you get pretty much almost all of it. Lightly touch it. There we go. Perfect. Let's kind of remove that little bit right there. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, then we're just going to retouch with our neon yellow. Just a little bit. Not too much. And then go over it with our matte white. Perfect. Okay. Take our fire. Ooh. Ow. That hurt. Okay, just all right. all right. So take our black, just kind of go along the edge of the paper. Don't we're not gonna fill up too much of it. This should be dry by now. Nope, still not dry. Okay. Okay, then take our neon blue over here. Pretty dry. Okay. Now start from the center. Take our knee or yeah, take our neon uh, yellow. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, take our white because, like I said, neon colors can you can see through neon colors onto the bottom. So, so look, if I show you, I can apply as much neon yellow as I want. I'm gonna see right through the colors still. So I want to apply my white first. Very thin layer, not too much. And then take my neon yellow. Just go along the outside of it. Okay, take my neon uh, orange. Okay. 
take my neon pink. Uh, just go all the way to the edge right here. And take our neon blue. So just along the top right here. Take our neon pink, just kind of go over this again. Kind of go downwards a little bit. Just a little bit further down. And there we go. Okay, now let's apply some white again. Just apply white just on the outside of the sunset. a little bit of neon yellow and just real quickly just go over it again just on the very very edge let's do our matte white not our regular white and there you go there's your sun set almost uh we need to apply uh, uh you don't have to apply stars if you don't want to i do just to give it a little bit more detail um but when I apply stars to my sunsets, I do it on the very, very top. And I only use just a little bit of stars. I don't use a whole lot. Okay, that's good. Right there. Now we can take this off. We're going to make some clouds. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. You can either A, take, uh, where'd it go? Well, anyways, you can either A, do it the way how I usually do it, which is by uh, doing this. Take a piece of paper, just kind of make a little bit of a design. Just kind of go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And boom, you got yourself a little cloud stencil, pretty much. And you just basically just take the uh, your your whatever color you want, and then you just kind of lay it on side right here, and then you spray on the on the border. You don't spray on the paper, but spray on the border. And there you go. There's your little cloud stencil. You just keep going like that until you reach the amount of what you need. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I am going to do something a little bit more uh uh not harder but uh i don't know the word <laughs> so, so what i do is just pretty much take a piece of paper like this take my red let's put this on here and take our orange apply a lot of orange just to kind of give it that bright color a little bit. Okay, then just kind of make sure you wipe off all the excess. Just kind of go back and forth very gently. How I usually hold it, I have a thumb on the edge and my ring, uh, my middle finger on the edge, and then I have my uh, index finger in the center, just to kind of keep it arced down to make it even a little bit. Uh, you could go back and forth. You could do this if you wanted to. You could uh, basically just kind of do a little dap. 
and then a dap and then another dap and just kind of dap a little bit on the way down okay maybe maybe one more big one up here and then we should be good there we go okay that's good you know what I might add just a little bit of clouds I'm gonna take my neon yellow that way there we go just very lightly you can just take a white because that white's kind of running low there we go there we go we're not going to apply too many clouds like that um, because there's no point when we're going to be doing our land in the back, pretty much. A little bit. Just kind of. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's good. Okay. Now, using the same stencil that we just used, uh, we're going to make our land like our far our far distant land so basically what we would do take your stencil of the cloud stencil that you just uh, made and um, take your black put it right alongside the edge right here your thing like that and I like to use paper for my um, uh, seagulls just kind of dip it in all that Make sure it's really thick and wet Basically, just use the corner of it just to kind of do that. Maybe there's another swarm of seagulls right here. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for that. Um, quick way to dry your paintings like I said in my other videos uh, are to use either fire or a hair dryer I don't have an extension cord to dry, uh, to bring a hair dryer down here to dry my uh, paintings so I'm gonna use fire boom just like that I guess we could do the palm trees while we're waiting yeah don't ever don't ever like pause what you're doing like don't if there's absolutely nothing to do whatsoever and you can't think of anything else to do then okay fine then take your break but um if there's something that that you need to do and you know you need to do it go ahead and do it otherwise you might forget because trust me i've done that plenty of times we're going to do palm trees on that on the land right there just do that and just using the tip of your paintbrush we're gonna apply some palm trees like I said put them on the land right here draw really thin lines okay we're just gonna start doing the lines first we're not gonna do the leaves just yet we will in a minute but just to kind of place where you want them <laughs> I need new paintbrushes. Okay. 
Not that much. Okay, then basically you're just gonna take your brush. I like to use my table to, or my turntable to kind of make the leaves. So basically, what you would do is you just, just. Upside down, just do the same thing. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right, we're gonna make a little bit of water. Okay, very smallly because we wanna put Okay, the neon uh, orange. Then apply neon pink right here. Then we're gonna apply neon blue on the whole thing. Well, first thing on, let's do our white. Take this little thing, just very lightly. Just go back, forth, back. All right, let's apply some white again. Okay, all right. Now on to the sea, under the sea uh, part, which is my personal favorite part. I love making sea paintings. All right, so start off with some neon pink. Just kind of make some dots here and there. Then grab your neon orange. Grab some yeller, neon yeller. Just kind of reply a little bit with your neon pink, kind of maybe even a little bit of red at the bottom. Perfect. Okay, now grab your neon, or I'm sorry, your black, that's brown. Your black. Then your navy blue. Oh no. Then your regular blue, whatever this blue is called. Then your neon blue, where did I put it? There it is. Oh, 
And last but not least, your turquoise. Then grab your newspaper, and crumple it up, and just start making little lines. Use your fingernail. Okay, now we're gonna do this, one of these numbers. So apply your uh, neon yellow, just kind of make like a round oval, or like a round arc kind of thing. Go all the way down, grab your neon blue. Start from halfway and go all the way down. Then grab some neon green. And kaboom. Now grab your black. Then grab your navy blue. Then grab your regular blue. Just go up to the next level of colors. Then grab your neon blue. Grab your turquoise. Where'd it go? Oh, so blind. Okay. Grab some newspaper. Kind of just go in the arc motion. Go in the arc motion. Just kind of do one of those numbers. Take it off. Perfect. All right. I kind of want to do something. My mind has an idea. So grab some neon pink. Just kind of go like don't go too uh, don't go too far up. Go down ish. Like remain lo uh, lower to the ground a little bit. Green and yellow. Okay, grab your black. Grab your navy blue. Where'd it go? Grab your regular blue, and we'll just stop right there at the regular blue. Okay, then grab your newspaper. Just kind of go upwards a little bit. Just kind of, yeah, like that. Not really getting the color that we want, but that's okay. Alright, that's good. That's perfect. I'd like to take my black and just kind of go along the edge of my cover-up. There we 
we go, that's good. Beautiful, wow, holy crap. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. <laughs> All right, now take, take, uh, take your white, just kind of place it right here and just kind of go along the edge. That's clear gloss. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, on to making all the details and all that stuff. I'm going to use my GoPro to kind of show you guys how I do it. Um, so, just kind of get some room here. Now, what I like, so, so now I'm using my GoPro. So, see these lines right here? I like to use these as little pinpoints on where I want my C land to be. So, maybe like, I don't know, maybe right here. That's a good spot kind of just oops just kind of just do that make sure you apply a lot of it on there and make sure you put a lot of pressure when you're using your palette knife so just kind of the shakier the hand the better Sometimes you just use the edge of your palette knife, just kind of go alongside. There we go. Just kind of do that. Oh no. And if I kind of overlap the line a little bit, I just kind of retrace the line with my palette knife and boom, it's good as new. And what I like to do with this is I like to kind of just make little ovals on them. Boom, just like that. Make little seaweed sometimes, so like just kind of go along down right here. Uh, I forgot to do this part. So, um, like I said in my other uh, uh, sea spray painting, it's not really showing everything. I like to um, use the back of my palette knife and just kind of just go along going in zigzags just if you find yourself starting to dry up a little bit just kind of reply your clear coat and boom you're set to go again Okay, that's good. Sometimes I like to use the side of my palette knife to kind of get what I want, just kind of like that. It's a really thin line. All right, I'm done scraping. I'm gonna use my paintbrush now. You guys can keep going with your palette knife to, uh, to make some um, sea land type deals, but uh, I like to use my paintbrush for some of it. Not not for all of it, but you know, for some of it. Oh. All right. Uh, first thing before I do my land, my under the sea land, I just wanna paint my fish. Take your little brush. This is a five. This is a number five brush. Camel hair, I believe. And just 
do that. Uh, I like to get the important fish out of the way. So maybe I'll do a, a swarm of fish. Like I, I always want to add my swarm of fish. Swarm of fish are important to me. So just kind of draw a little itty bitty lines. And just kind of group them all up in the same area. This, this paintbrush is not working with me. Okay, and with my group of fish, I sometimes like to add little fins at the back of them. It's kind of, yeah. It's kind of going to be motion. You don't have to add all, you don't have to add all the fins to the fish, but I got shown. You don't even have to add fins at all if you don't want to. I just like to put a little bit more detail on my paintings, so. Okay, I'm going to add a sea turtle. I'm going to teach you all how to make a sea turtle. So. So just follow my technique, slow down the video if you have to, pause it, do whatever you have to. Uh, I'm gonna put my sea turtle right here. So just, just kind of make the body right here. Make the legs, then make the arms. And there you go, there's your sea turtle. I really should go to a different brush. All right, well, while that's drying, I like to add a little bit of detail to my um, sea turtles. So basically what I would do is I would just take it from the shoulder, do a, like a V pretty much, then do like a diamond. Oops. And then do a backwards V. Just like that. Uh, one thing I want to add, um, you can't have a sunset on the ocean without having a big palm tree. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this part right here. Just right there, right there's one. So yeah, put khaki. Put some orange, put some red, and then cover it up with black. One thing I like to do is I like to put white on the top part right here just to give it a little bit more detail now as we're waiting for that paintbrush to set in, we're going to add our big palm trees. Wipe off any excess. And just kind of go right here and then go up and diagonal. We're just gonna take our black and then wipe off any excess it's a little bit too much there we go okay then we're gonna take our the the very edge of it and we're just gonna swoop it swoop just like that and take it again just swoop it and swoop it again swoop swoop Oops. Just like that, then you basically do the same thing for the other side. Flip it over if you have to.
Perfect. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. We're gonna put them right here. Right here is where we want to put them. So just use the tip of your paintbrush and just kind of do a little line and then do an arc, a really big arc. Same thing, but for the bottom. And that arc's not gonna be as big. All right, cool. That's pretty much all for the whitefish. Now, on to, um, I kinda wanna make dolphins, but at the same time, I kinda don't. I haven't made dolphins in a long time, and I don't wanna mess up this painting. This painting's too good to be messed up. So, take our black. We'll just do the love fish. So, yeah. So, just sure. paintbrush, just. Draw oh, little itty bitty lines. Perfect. Drawing little fins on them. Doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect. Take the clear gloss, get these paint, these uh, turtle and the fish wet, uh, like I did with my other one, just do a V. Perfect. Okay, now moving on. All right, that's pretty dry. Um, now moving on to the black fish, or the white fish. I'm gonna put more detail in for him. So very, very, very carefully put your black and just kind of do a little down and then Whoop, and down, and down one more time, and kaboom. And draw a little eye if you want to. I thought that was rain for a minute. And I think I'm gonna add one more. No, you know what, I'm not gonna add that. Nah. Okay, now let's let's while while my colored fish are drying, we're gonna put some detail within the land a little bit more. So we're gonna start off with the green side. We're gonna take some yellow. Take some neon yellow and just kind of go over that. Take some green, regular green, green. And then put neon green on top.
All right. Maybe we can put some thick ones right here. I realize I didn't scrape any of this part right here. All right, um, we're not done yet, are we? No. All right, um, hang on, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Let me do this first. Take your white. Put this back in. Put this away. Take your white. And we're just gonna pretty much take this. gonna do this. Looks like a little wave. Oh, look at that. thing to do. We've got a few things to do actually, but we're, we're just going <clears> to <throat> use the sunlight to shine down on from the horizon and then we're going to sign it and then we're done. And actually, we've got one more thing to do. Use these as bubbles. Oops. There we go. All right, that looks freaking awesome, I think. Perfect. Oh man, you know what? We're gonna do one more thing. I promise. And take our finger, um, our pinky finger, and just put some coconuts right here. There we go. Now we're done. All right, it's getting dark outside, so I better make this quick. I really hope you guys like this lesson. If you guys like it, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, if you want me to make something for you, that, or if you want me to teach you how to make it, make sure you leave down in the comments below what I should make. Um, the only thing I don't do are portraits for the time being, so just keep that in mind.
If you want to get notified for every video that I'll be making in the future, make sure you click the notification bell. If you want to help support my channel, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. And if you guys want me to do more spray painting lessons and you guys want to help support my channel even further, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next spray painting video.